In the previous section, we have seen about using the events with parameters. Working with events, that too with parameters and without parameters. In the class based component, that is the earlier version of React, if you want to have a state at a component level, you can have only one level of state. A state used to be an object literal. So, in a class based component, you can have only one state. But for example, in this particular code, if you want to have more states, then you can easily take by using the use state hook. Let's try that. For example, I just want to try now a different type of state. That is, I'm going to try a Boolean value with the use state. For example, I'm going to say const, that is, let's say m flag. This is going to contain a Boolean value. And I just say set flag. Let me say set flag. And here, when I use the use state, if I say true, that means the m flag becomes a state containing initial value true. So the way I have used use state two times, you can use it multiple times. You can also have an object literal that we will see after some time. So right now, for example, I want to display this value of m flag here. I'll take an h3. Here I'm going to say m flag and the h3 ends. Now you do not see the value right now. The reason is that we have a boolean value. So either we convert this into a string. So I will say to string, which is a method to convert a value into string, or you can just use a plus sign and join it. We'll keep to string at the moment. Now let's say we try something else as well. I'll take a button where I'll say that this is going to toggle the value of the flag. So on click of a button, I just want that this true becomes false and if it is false, it should become true. So it's going to toggle the value. Right now we have used a separate function that is the counter handler to execute the setter method that is the set count. You see that here, the setter method. Now the set flag is the setter method for the flag. So now I'm going to try a different way of calling the same method. That is the setter method. Here I'm not going to create a separate handler. I'll say on click is equal to. Now there will be an arrow function here and also the set flag. Inside this, what I want is that the m flag, whatever the value is, just reverse it. So when I say exclamation, that means if it is true, it will make it false. If it is false, it will make it true. Also, I'm using the set flag which has a parameter. And I've already discussed in the previous section that we use the arrow function to return this function. We use the arrow function when we have the parameter to be passed so that it doesn't execute on load. Now let's try this. I'll just click on the toggle. It was earlier true. So now it is false. Again, I toggle. It says true. So this particular example, I'm trying to explain that we can have multiple states. Not only that, let's say if I want to use a pattern which was used with class based component, that is instead of having different values, if I want to have an object literal, let's say both these states which I have here, that is counter and m flag, I want to keep it in an object literal, then I can use one state and do it. Let me convert that also. Here what will I do? I'll use the object literal. Let's say I'll take a counter inside this and I'll say zero comma, I'm going to take the m flag inside this and that I will make it true. The next thing is this particular use state hook is going to return now an object literal. So the CNT will be a kind of object. Let me just say that it is a state object. So I'll say SOBJ. So now SOBJ has CNT and m flag. And of course, I'm going to remove this. I don't need the second use state. Now let's just first of all display the value. So here instead of writing CNT, I should write SOBJ dot CNT. And when it comes to flag, I'll say SOBJ dot M flag dot to string. So now we have these two values. You can see that they are getting displayed without any trouble. 
so now the states are defined inside an object literal so there is one state only that is the object literal which has these members now comes the important part the set count is the setter method for both cnt and m flag now we can change the name we can make it more meaningful but at the moment let's keep it set count as it is the next thing is that when it comes to changing the individual member that is cnt or m flag because it is an object literal we'll have to write an object literal here as well so for example i give an object literal and because it is an object literal i'm going to say that cnt is equal to that is a colon sign and there will be a value which is always incremented now what i can do either i can take a separate variable or i can write here also i can say sobj dot cnt plus one the left hand side is the member of the object literal so here you do not have to say sobj dot cnt it automatically recognizes because it is the use state which returned the setter method and it has a reference of object literal so you just write cnt or m flag you will not write sobj dot cnt on the right hand side if you want to refer any value be it a variable or even the counter or flag you will write sobj because right hand side is the value which you are going to assign so i will take a variable let's say a temporary counter and that i will assign with the sobj dot cnt so whatever the value the counter has that is assigned to the temporary counter and then i will say temporary counter plus plus and here in this case the counter is going to be the temporary counter that's it similar pattern applies here also so for the else section i'm going to say temporary counter minus minus and there will be an object literal here where i say cnt is equal to temporary counter now the next thing is also changing this set flag we do not have anything called set flag we can use the counter handler only directly or we can set it inside this on click event that is with inline way only i can simply write set count right and as i mentioned that we'll need an object literal so let's put an object literal around this and here m flag will be s obj dot m flag this is a new value and this is the member of the object literal so if i now click you see it is working absolutely the way we are expecting but when i click on this toggle button the value does change for the flag but the counter is disappeared same is the case with if i click on these buttons then it is giving me the problem with the m flag that means when the set count or the setter method is executed there is some problem to see the problem let's first of all add a line here i'm going to say json dot stringify and i want to display the value of sobj now initially when the page loaded counter and m flag both are displayed the moment i click on let's say this toggle you see that there is only one m flag displayed there is only one member the counter is gone so when you try to call the setter method it resets this value only so you have to inform the setter method that whatever is there inside the sobj let it be as it is whatever members you have and at the same time then you replace the value of m flag with the new value so now if i just refresh we have counter and m flag now when i click toggle you see counter is still existing and it is not disappeared so to resolve this counter issue we are still going to do the same thing here that we'll make sure we use the spread operator i'll say s obj let the object be first as it is and then overwrite this counter value with the new value so in this case also we are going to say sobj and the counter now i'll just refresh now let's run the code i'll say plus minus you have the toggle value so in this section we have seen that we can take multiple states we have also seen that we can have an object literal inside the use state hook if you are looking for front end full stack opportunities in the us 
Anak Technologies can help you find your next big project. Also, if you are looking to turn up your existing skills in front-end, that is mean or mern stack, you can enroll with one of Anak Technologies training programs. Anak Tech is supporting my initiative to bring more up-to-date technical tutorials specially crafted for viewers like you. Check out the links in the description for more details.